Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about Facebook's new tool that allows users to clear their history. And this is specifically for off-site pixel audiences. And this has some serious implications for Facebook advertisers. So if you're doing any kind of marketing on Facebook, this is going to affect you. Now I'm going to tell you if it's a big deal or not a big deal, if should you be concerned, what should you do to make these things right, and what kind of audiences should you be focusing on. So it's gonna be very helpful if you're doing any kind of advertising, especially if you're targeting website traffic and audiences that you are remarketing. This is a really big deal and it's a pretty big bummer. So I'll tell you what you're gonna to need to do to make sure it doesn't affect you that much. Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily marketing videos. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, this is a great place to do it. If you ever have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please comment below. Happy to respond to questions that you have. So let's get into today's video. Facebook is releasing a new tool and this tool allows users to clear their pixel data and their, their user history. So it's basically like a clear cache button. And so if they've been visiting websites and they click this button, then those retargeting pixel audiences are gone. And this is really big deal, especially if you're a marketer that has been using audiences and pixel audiences. If you're using content on your website if you're driving like blog traffic or content traffic on your website retargeting these audiences is a tremendously valuable way to reach these people so it's a big deal that this is being taken away this is happening for a few reasons number one facebook just announced at their f8 conference that they're going to do three serious pushes for the future they're going to be doing privacy is going to be everything that is going to be built on privacy because they've already had a ton of problems when it came to the Cambridge Analytica scandal and privacy data problems. So they're going to really focus on privacy. They're going to focus on groups and they're going to focus on messenger and messaging. So that being said, privacy was the very first thing they talked about. And this is one of the very first changes coming out of that. What does this mean for advertisers? So they've said publicly in a blog post that they just released recently that this is going to really affect reach for some of your off-site audiences. That they didn't say that they're going to be doing anything when it comes to native on-site audiences. And I think that that's an important distinction. I think that with Facebook and Instagram, that native advertising and native re-engagement audiences probably need to take the place of off-site audiences. And that kind of sucks because I've seen some really good results, especially recently with top 25% website retargeting audiences. And so it's a bummer that we're losing this tool that has been so good so far. So we're not losing it completely. It'll still exist. But now we don't have control of that data. We don't have control of those audiences. And if people want to, they can, you know, click that button and then those audiences are gone. So I personally like to have more control over the audiences that I'm using for myself and for my clients. And so as a result, we're going to probably do a lot more shifting from off-site marketing to more native marketing. And this does require a lot more work. It's a bummer, uh, but primarily we're gonna be driving native traffic from now on, probably. So we'll just talk about a few other things that I think you can do here in just a second. But um, overall, it's a bummer for advertisers. I have been saying though in several of the past videos that this push for privacy, there's no telling that we'll be able to have custom audiences or pixel audiences in the future. We can hope that we will have this, but there's just no guarantees in this. And that's what happens when you have, you know, a single point of failure, especially if, if I know a lot of businesses have all of their eggs in the Facebook basket. So it's an additional reason why you need to be diversifying. So that being said, there was a few more updates that I think are super important. They did say that this wouldn't affect tracking at all. That's a big note. It's just going to affect retargeting audiences. So if we're using pixels for conversion activity, they are not saying that this is going to change that data. I can imagine that if it truly is clearing out this data on pixel audiences, that a lot of the standard conversion events are going to be affected by this. And that's a big bummer too, because optimizing for conversion events is very, very important. Um, and it's been a great way to get better traffic from Facebook. So it's just gonna be a matter of time to test out, see what happens, see what the actual implica implications of this are. Hopefully, and I know this is probably is not the best thing to hope, but hopefully they hide this feature so far inside of the settings that's difficult to find and not many people use it. So that's what I'm hoping for just because I really like using these retargeting audiences from website traffic. This is especially important with people who are 
you know, abandoned carts and all these other things, abandoned cart sequences and, and ads that we have running, um, and just different segments based on content. It's just going to be a bummer. So what can you do to kind of avert this crisis and make sure that you're not stuck without audiences to target? I think the very first thing that you need to do is this makes emails even more important. And the reason for that is we need to not only be relying on these different traffic segments from visiting our website, but we also need to have audience lists of current customers, of email newsletter signups, of specific guides, getting really segmented with the different groups of people that we're targeting. And the way to do that, I think, is to offer resources and lead magnets and just really makes email so much more important, especially from an upload standpoint. So that's number one that I think is very important. Number two is native content, specifically videos and posts and things. You can retarget those things natively, and that is not going away for now. So that being said, you can drive traffic natively and use those segments in place of offsite segments. And so, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world, but it, it would be nice to be able to drive the traffic of people who've already engaged from offsite to maybe natively and, and be targeting ads and content natively so that you can recapture all of those audiences. And then the third thing that I think is really important is if you're driving traffic from Facebook to your website now, and that's going to be a big strategy, having diversified traffic sources and doing multi-channel marketing has never been more important. And, you know, I see Google really fighting back in the ad space as far as new features that are coming out, some really interesting YouTube shopping ad formats, just cool stuff coming out. So it doesn't mean the end of the world just because Facebook is changing the rules. You know, we saw this happen with Google AdWords a long time ago when it went through basically maturity. It came out as an emerging platform. It was the Wild West. There was the Google slap and the Google ban. People would get their Google accounts shut down and they've normalized it. Now there's reps and it's it's a stable, mature network. Facebook is going through those growing pains right now. So they're going to figure it out. It is still a great opportunity. It is still a great medium to be advertising. You just need to make sure to have Google and Facebook and basically all of your ad networks diversified so that if something does happen or you do get shut down, you're able to take your your traffic from one section and just adjust it. And so don't get caught with, you know, all of your eggs in the Facebook basket, I think is the the lesson of the last three years that mark the marketing inside of Facebook has been changing for a long time. And it just is part of life now. But I would love to know what you think. Is this a big deal for you? Do you like the website traffic audiences and top 25% of website traffic audiences inside of Facebook? And what will you be doing? But I think that if you have a good email list, and if you have good engagement inside of Facebook or Instagram, and you're using those native targeting audiences, um, you're going to be okay. I think that especially as they become more native, you know, emphasis on native from native purchasing to, you know, native lead generation, I think we're all going to be okay. We just have to shift the tactics, right? The principles stay the same, but the tactics shift based on the tools that we have, the resources that we have, and what we're able to do with those. So uh, I hope that this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone.